One of the advantages of online and blended learning is that you get to design and build all aspects of a learning environment. One of the biggest challenges of online and blended learning is that you have to purposely design all aspects of the learning environment and the learning process you'll be taking your learner through. By the completion of this course, you will be able to effectively research your design and build an online or blended learning course and promote your online and blended learning project to your key stakeholders. This broad course goal will be aligned through the following outcomes where you will evaluate design choices, pedagogical perspectives, and implementation strategies of your online or blended learning design project. Analyze important elements of online learning design to develop an effective online or blended course design. Apply your instructional design and create an online or blended learning implementation. Participate in constructive review and feedback of peer design projects. Compile digital resources that influence others and will promote the potential of your design project. These outcomes will be realized through the following three authentic learning opportunities. The design phase. You'll evaluate and select an online learning design approach, develop a design document, and plan and create a video and supporting resources that outline your design, and then receive and moderate feedback on your plan. Implementation phase. You'll take your outcome map document and develop an overview or start here module and one or two modules of instruction based on your design. You'll once again create a video and related resources to outline your implementation and receive and moderate feedback. Usability phase. You'll test your design and implementation of your developed modules of instruction by having your intended stakeholders like your curriculum committee or learning community navigate through these modules and document their experience. You'll take the usability feedback and make adjustments to your design and implementation and develop your remaining course modules. Throughout this course, you will engage in a significant amount of organization and sharing of your ideas, the continual sharing and receiving of feedback, and the continual improvement of your design and implementation. We won't ask you to do anything we don't do ourselves. Over the years, we have found that the sooner and more often we can solicit feedback on our instructional design and implementation prototypes and testing our prototypes, the more effective our courses become. I can share my three-column table with one of my co-developers, and in a matter of minutes, they can confirm my alignment of outcomes, activities, and assessment, or tell me I may have overlooked something or what I need to take out. Similarly, when I walk my co-developers or colleagues through one of my units of instruction uh, through my overview video, they can then provide the necessary feedback I need to make adjustments to the learning environment. By the time my course goes live, the design and implementation of my learning environment has been reviewed and improved multiple times. You don't have to do course design and development alone. And as you learn to give others feed forward and support, you can in turn learn how to receive that feed forward. This is one of the instances where the cliche, many hands make like work, has some merit. However, I suggest that the cliche be modified too, many hands and eyes make better courses.